What's good? What is good with y'all today? Welcome to the new show, Dots View. Just basically a little opinionated segment I have called. I was gonna call it the Grizzly Spot, but that just don't sound right. It sounds like something you should be talking about food on. But I'm gonna go ahead and call this Dots View because this is just my point of view from for certain situations and certain things. And I wanted to introduce this show by bringing up this whole situation with um, you know who, but I'm my view. I'm gonna give it to you in the view of not why he did it or none of that stuff. I'm giving you. I'm gonna give you my view of why I don't think that that whole thing should have transpired. Um, one, if you are not used to a certain type of lifestyle and you know that that lifestyle is not what's going to be collectively basically um, profitable. Not profitable because you could do anything for money. It's not going to be basically healthy for you moving forward. Then it's a good idea not to jump into their lifestyle. Basically, let me give you a better example. If I am a, a orphan on the street and a gang comes up to me and says, yo, we'll offer you protection. We'll give you a certain amount of guidance. We'll put money in your pocket. We'll feed you and we'll make sure you got something that you can look forward to coming home. Girl, money, drug, whatever. So that orphan is going to say, okay, I don't have anything right now. So I'm definitely going to jump on that opportunity. Now, let's say you're a rich kid who has everything that he needs. And the only thing that you learn in life is how life works. You see that gang, you say, hmm, I don't like this boring lifestyle that I got. Let me go over there and basically mingle with the gangsters. You go mingle with the gangsters. Find out what the gangsters do. You like it. It excites you. It's something new, different. Get your adrenaline popping. So what do you do? All right. I'm finna go ahead and try to get in with this little click, man. So I can be down with what they being down with. Now, one thing about that is that it's two different situations. You got a situation with the orphan kid who didn't have nothing. Somebody presented something. So he was like, okay, I don't have nothing. They're offering me something. I'm pretty much going to take it. Then you have a rich kid who got everything who's saying, I just want to live like, I just want to live like them because they look cool. Not knowing that it's, that's not cool. <laughs> the only reason that the orphan kid had to do it because he didn't have anything else. All his options was zero. You being a rich kid, you got a hundred thousand options open to you. And you can just do primarily anything that you want to. But you choose to go over and intercept whatever little whatever coming to that group of gangsters to me that's impermissible y'all there's, there's no way that you know rich kid who got everything can tell me you're going to put yourself in a situation where people don't have anything and they're struggling to get it or they came up with a certain method on how to get it that's how america got started that america didn't get started by people saying hey you know what um let's come together and form these these country or these colonies or these states and let's go ahead and put these provisions in and let's put all this other good stuff in here let's do this all again no it was basically it was wars people was like no 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 i want this land other people was like no 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 we want this land so what happened they battled for it same way with slavery that some the south was like no we want to keep these folks doing this and the north was like Nah, they're actual people, and that's kind of bogus that you're doing that. So, but they do. They fought. Because they had to. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was different ideologies. That's a, it's a different term. That's basically like one of the, the, the northerners saying, hmm, slavery looks interesting to me. I'm going to put, I'm going to, let's say it was in the case of like a white guy. He said, you know what? I'm going to blackface myself and then go see how the slaves get treated just to see even though i don't have to and i created this whole situation for them but i'm gonna see how it feel go
go in there for like a day, brr, get whooped up, all that other stuff that they used to do back in the in slavery days. Then he, he comes back and be like, you know what? That's kind of messed up. So what I'm going to do is I basically figured out the inner workings on how they move and you know what I'm saying, how they get food, how they basically um produce joy out of pain. You know what I'm saying? How they throw birthday parties. I'm finna get all that insight and I'm basically finna go run back to master and tell him that, yo, man, you know, they be, when we give them slop, um, they take the slop and they make like certain dishes out of it and they actually enjoy the dishes. And I'm just using this as uh, my example because it's it's a stark contrast and difference because slavery and that man snitching is two totally different things. But Somebody putting themselves in a slave-like situation is what I'm talking about. It's a situation you don't have to put yourself in, but you put yourself in it just because you either want the attention or you're trying to research. Like, if you're researching, you can, you can ask enough people. You can ask enough black people about slavery or hard dealings and anything like that. You can just ask them or ask us. I'm saying them like, I'm not black. But yeah, you can just ask us. You don't have to basically poke and prod and see how we work. Now, we work just like y'all, but in a different way. But moving that and going back to the point, because I see I'm getting off point a little bit. Um, you didn't have to go in a lifestyle. And my thing about it was, okay, you was homeless. It's a lot of homeless people out here. That's that's not an excuse. You could have got, got a job. You had a little job at a bodega, bro. You could have saved your money up. You could have hustled your money up. Went to the studio. Put you down some some rhymes. Got with some people that was in your same function. And you would have been popping. No. What you decided to do was you decided to say, hey, the niggas over there, man, they claim the game, bro. And if I can get with them and rep the same game without actually initiating myself into the game, then I can get the clout or I can get the... The props for it. That's what allured, you know what I'm saying? That's what lured and was the allure to that man going over there, joining that game. It was them people didn't come up to him, put a gun into his head, say, yo, boy, join that gang so we can extort you. That 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 just wasn't it. That man went there with little to no knowledge about the industry or the gang life. I mean, even though he was like they say he was a crip before, but that I don't believe that. Because <laughs> the, the the people who was on the regular with him before said the same thing. They was just like the dude was enthralled with all the little gang life, but we knew he wasn't about that life, so we just told him that he was part of it, so he wouldn't mess up nothing. So you know what I'm saying? But them folks ain't put a gun to that man here and tell that man to come over there and join that gang. He did it on his own. And for everybody to keep making their excuses, well, if he was going to, uh, they were going to rob. They robbed him. He allowed himself to get extorted. He could have had a, um, he could have had an accountant. He he could have got somebody to help manage his money. Most definitely outside of the record label, they have no problem with you getting somebody to help manage your money. Because when you manage your money and you make a whole bunch of money, they can start making off money off you making a whole bunch of money. So that's kicked out to his baby mama and. Oh, they was he was having sex with his baby mama. It was one person that was accused of having sex with his baby mama, and that was Shoddy. And even though I can't, I don't like that dude for nothing, and I think he's super shysty, it's still no solid evidence that he had sex with her. Both of them said it it was negative. I mean, if they lying, then they lying. Who knows? But still, it's no way that y'all can prove that that. Nigga baby mama was having sex with nobody in that clique. And if she was, he don't own this chick. He don't own it. So what? I mean, what? But and then the, the last part is <clears throat> if they was threatening your moms, dude, the gang members didn't threaten his mom until after he snitched on everybody. But that's no excuse. Also, before that. It wasn't the gang threatening him. It was the the Mexican cartel that was threatening him because he was talking crazy to El Chapo's them people. 
And El Chapo and people came and was like, bro, you really don't know who he is. We will come let you know and have it. So I'm not finna blame them people for telling that man, you you over here antagonizing us, thinking we finna take it. But we way bigger than your little gang, and we'll come through and match you. Matter of fact, we'll let you know how it's real, how real it is. We'll hit your baby mama, your kid, and your mama. That's how real gangsters do it. That's why most people don't really jump off into their life because they know they really not about it. So, to me, I'm going to end it like this. So all you folks making excuses for that young man, the 47 years he was going to do, he brought that upon himself. He, he called out hits for people. He sold drugs. He went threatening people. And he did all type of illegal shit that he should not have been doing. He did that. Them other people didn't do that for him. Did some of them did it with him, but he was involved in it too. So, all them excuses that he using, no, you can kick that right on out the window. That makes no difference when you initiated all that yourself and you decided, hey, I want to live that life, so I'm finna go try to be about that life. That's what you get. That's what you get when you you jump into that life. And you can't jump out of it and tell on everybody and expect that everybody's going to give you praise, honor, and glory for it. Nah, bro. Snitches don't get props when they are the ones that initiated their own situation. Nope. Not over this way. So, with that being said, I want to thank y'all. Also, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what's good in the hood. If you made it to the end of the video, um, leave your name. And say I made it. And I will give y'all a personal shout out. In uh, the next video. And we do it like that. So I like to holla at y'all. I hope y'all want to holla back. I want to see it from y'all view. Hopefully y'all trying to see it. From Dot's view. Y'all be good. Deuces.